a preacher of the gospel, what is my concern for the present preachers? You will not ever know we're preaching, everybody preaching. What is your concern? Personally, what are you concerned about those who are preaching the gospel? Are you just gathering people here and there, educated people, connected people, and are bringing them there to begin to address their, their church members and preach the, you know, preach the so-called gospel? That's not there. Your present thing is to preserve the gospel that will be able to save people from their sins. So the preservation of the gospel should be one thing that's in your mind that you will not. You will not, but make sure that you do everything possible to make sure that those who are preaching this gospel are doing it appropriately. Power to transform lives, the power to change people. You are the one that will look at the people whose life are already changed, and you are going to help them, assist them, and do all that's concerned for them to be able to preach the gospel. Let us not put people there, people who don't have no gotten the, you know, the, 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 the benefit of the gospel, people who don't know the power of the gospel and the purpose of preaching the gospel, be concerned that those who are preaching the gospel in your church, around you, and within you, in your organization there, that these are the people who have not known the gospel, tested the gospel, and they are able to remain preaching the gospel. A singular purpose, let me tell you, brethren, for laboring in the gospel is to get men and women to salvation that's in Christ. Anything short of that will be another gospel. It will be a gospel that will not will meet the present need of people here in the world, but over there, they have no hope at all. The gospel that they had was never able to change them and transform them and make them children of God. We must also be committed to preserving the gospel. We must be committed. Wherever, whether we are pastors or workers or teachers, if you are a child of God, the honors lies on you to do everything you can to make sure that the gospel is preached and the gospel is reserved. So I want to ask you now, what is your reaction and relationship with false preachers of the gospel? Do you befriend them, fraternize with them? Are they your friend or are you doing anything in any form to support what they are doing? The Bible told us uh, to, uh, to the law and to the prophet, if they speak at, not according to this word, because there's no life in them. If anyone comes to you and does not bring this gospel, the Bible said, don't even say goodbye to them. But we see there are Christians there, they are in our church here, or in any good church, wherever they are worshiping, and they discover that they are building something in their villages, or building something around them, and they are calling them, come and help, or we want to build a church, we want to buy this one, we want to buy this one, in the name of God, send this. If you continue to support the people calling you here and there, and they are not preaching the gospel, they are not paid last of the right gospel, and you are supporting them to build things against the gospel, whatever is going to be their reward eventually, you are going to be partaker of it. And this is why you must make your mind that anything you have zero tolerance for people preachers who are not Christian, who are not you know born again. Preachers who are not strictly preaching the gospel and living by the gospel, you must be an enemy to them, so to say. And this is exactly what we are learning tonight. You must not in any way support anything that is, uh, you know, uh, in, in, inclined to even to, to uh, false uh, 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 gospel. You must also do that. All that you do for the gospel is to make sure you promote and everything you ought to do as human beings to make sure that the gospel is preserved. Do it. Whatever you need to do, do it. Are there people around us that are peddling it? Even people that are close to us, members of the church and people around us. If you discover that there's somebody in the church and is inclining to preaching wrong, wrong doctrines, is inclining to teaching wrong things in the church, do not in any way support us when, or leave the person to deceive the people of God. If you allow him to be there and he deceive the people of God, whatever becomes of them in eternity, you yourself will also be accountable. So brethren, we are all here listening to the word of God, and our pastors and our workers and whatever you're doing, have an eagle eye on the things that people are preaching. 
be there and assess what they are preaching to make sure that what is getting into the heart of the people, there are things that are able to preserve them and keep them all throughout eternity. May God give us all the grace we need in the name of Jesus Christ. And remember, my brethren, all that we need to do is that the, God, the gospel is, you can confirm it, it's verifiable. The gospel that God's approved.